Space has never looked quite like this before, at least not from Earth. These are among the first images captured by this planet's biggest ever camera. Part of the new Vera Rubin Observatory in the Chilean mountains. Funded by the U.S. government, the project promises a groundbreaking survey of space. This observatory represents a giant leap in our ability to explore the cosmos and unwrap the mysteries of the universe. While telescopes like James Webb provide detailed images, think of the Rubin Observatory as taking a panoramic, ultra-high-definition time-lapse of the universe. <laughs> Enough to impress a room full of would-be astronomers and astrophysicists in Toronto. It's the, uh, the, the first Apollo mission, but for ground-based astronomy. The hope is researchers right here at the University of Toronto will be able to use that new data to learn more about everything from supernova explosions to what's known as dark energy. Consider those spots whizzing by, all of them newly seen asteroids, with Rubin discovering 2,000 of them in just a week. Rubin's just going to show us so much of the universe we've never seen before. It's like opening a trapdoor. Professor Renee Halajic wrote her first paper on this long-promised telescope nearly 20 years ago. It's going to basically give me so much data that I can understand what is driving the acceleration of the universe, which is obviously the biggest question out there. See all those different colors? They provide new insight into the mind-boggling distance to those space objects. Many of those galaxies are five or perhaps even 10 billion light years away and have up to 100 billion stars in them. The observatory will map the universe for 10 years, providing never before seen views, all of them out of this world. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.